previously on RL Graph. We're going to go out and make a bookworm farm. No, no. Why do they always do? Oh, he's going. He's a runner. Oh, he's a runner. Get your butt back, boy. Do not make me. Uh, he can't fit to there anyways, stupid nerd. Get out of my face. I happen to have get. I, I got a guy here that's got level six. And he's only got not that long. It takes him like 130 to digest. That's great. So we're gonna take him home and mate him with the other friend. No, 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 no! Are you? Oh, are you kidding me? All right, he's dying. That dragon's dying. That's his death wish. You just. Do you know how long I have been flying for? And I hit pause on the recording, so you didn't even get to see it. Look, the sky's blood red with this dragon. I was gonna summon mounts, but let's see how many shots it takes to kill this guy. Oh, he's dead! What? Dude, what? This bow, like, five-shot the guy! They're just gonna keep producing crap books, because they're crap. No offense, guys. See? Poopy book. Poopy book. Here, eat the poop book. Me. Yeah, new bookworm friend. Dragon. Nice bookworm. Would be a shame if something happened to it. What is up, everyone, and welcome back to episode 22 of Arl Crap. In today's episode, I've got quite the plan. We're gonna go back to the end, and we're gonna redeem ourselves, right? So I had the thought, I was thinking, how in the hell can I stop myself from falling into the void again? And I was like, Chorus Fruit? No, too unpredictable, and if you're too far away, it's not gonna teleport you to when you land source. And I was like, Recall Potion? They don't work in the end. Then I had the idea, can you place a waypoint in the end? So, we're gonna go to the end, and I did look it up, and somebody said you could, so we're gonna test it. We're gonna place a waypoint as long as it's not in the um, the area where you spawn in, because I guess it gets deleted. Uh, we're gonna place a waypoint in the end, and I'm gonna test a recall potion in the end to see if we can actually go to it. And if that's the case, if we ever fall into the void again, we could just recall a potion back to that waypoint, and we'll be good. So I don't have to worry about losing my expensive stuff. Um, also, I put my tool belt in here because it's got a lot of important stuff in it, and I don't wanna risk losing it again by going back from the end and forgetting it, and I really don't need it, so yeah. But first, if you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. It really helps me out, and I really want to hit 5,000 subs by the end of the year. I love every one of you that do subscribe and do support the channel. Also, I would like to hit 150 likes on this video if possible. That would really make my day. I love you guys. But anyways, let's get back to the plan. So after we go to the end, we're going to come back, and in the last episode, I did mention... This is, this is getting absurd. Look at this. I need to clean a lot of these ones off. So we're going to go and speed run a lot of these mob towers and dragons. So we're just going to go on a mob tower and dragon loot run. And it's going to be good. Also, these guys, these guys are going to take a while. So <laughs> it's going to be a good minute. Um, hopefully we can get some gold ones. Um, you can also breed gold ones with each other to have a higher chance of making better things. I really, I really don't want to pick any of these up. Whoa, advanced efficiency. Okay. I'll take that. That could always be crafted into something worth something. That's cool. Um, and while we're out and exploring, if we do see anything, I do also want to kind of try to move. Because I am tired of this place. I'm tired of living here. And I've got some cool ideas to make a giant, massive, awesome base that's just going to be amazing. But yeah, we're going to go to the end and we're going to test out our theory. And we're going to see how it goes. Alright, so here we are. Um, I don't... I don't... I really don't want to go in there after what happened last time. Not with these. Um, what we're going to do... Uh, okay, we'll take this out inside of there in case I do. So, I shouldn't need weapons if I'm going to just summon something right away. So, <laughs> I'm going to take all my stuff and put it in... Alright, well, I can't do that if I need the end chest. So, I have to risk the pickaxe. The pickaxe is, amongst the things, it's the cheaper of the items. I do also have my shield that I... Let's just, let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, I don't like it. I really don't like being in here. Oh, just, just being on this... Increases my anxiety tenfold. Alright, so... This is 3x3x3, three by three by three, right? This little structure? No, it's just 3x3, three three, right? It's not even 3x3. Three I'm just curious what the person online that said 3x3x3 three by three by three structure meant. And I'm not sure. But I'm thinking we can make like up here or something. I didn't bring any blocks. That's kind of a problem. 
But we can put like a waypoint like up here. So we're gonna pop the chest out. I'm really, I'm really nervous about this. I don't like being in here after what happened last time. Uh, we're gonna take the waypoint. Take you, put you back in there in safety. <laughs> also for now on, I'm following my old rule of whenever I leave the end, I, I empty my inventory and leave the ender chest. Because I'm not, I'm not risking losing stuff anymore because of the stupid end. Alright, so if we pop this boy right here, we're gonna call it end spawn. And it should be, you should also be able to fast travel directly to and from the end now, I think. So that's what we're going to try to do. Um, we're going to just fast travel out. Well, uh, I just, I don't, I'm not taking any risks here. Okay. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not risking losing anything. So we're going to pop all you in there. We're going to pop all of this in there. And I don't, yeah, everything, literally everything. Um, I, I can risk this. I can risk the stake. The stake is fine. And the med kit. I just don't want to, I don't want to lose anything. All right, here we go. Here we go. Domination Nation. All right, we're back from the end. Nice. All of our stuff is still safe. And can we go back to the end? Bruh, let's go, dude. Yes. That's great. Why didn't I think of this? Also, oh, I don't have my, that's why it's dark. I don't have my eye anymore. Nice, dude. All right, we're going back. That's all I wanted to do. That's dope. That's awesome. Uh, we're going to put our armor back on. <laughs> that is the greatest thing ever. All right, so actually I took my armor back off. Um, one thing I did not think of was, uh, I didn't, I didn't test out my recall potion. So as long as there's a waypoint in the end, technically speaking, I should be able to. Also, you gotta be careful. It costs 3 XP to go there and back. So, I have 8 XP on me, so I should be good. So, we're gonna go back to the end. With no armor, nice and safe. We're gonna summon our... Okay, we left it here. Um, so if I go over here... I don't wanna fall, because I really just don't wanna... I don't wanna risk anything. If I drink this... Oh, no! So, we're not safe in the end. This is just a way to get back home. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, I'm good. I'm going back. I'm glad I checked. I'm glad I checked that. That's literally Satan. You are Satan. Thank you. Thank you, end. Oh, so we have a breakthrough here. So I just gave this little dude, I just um, bred two level sevens and they made a level nine. So you can skip levels. Um, so who else is level six and hasn't mated? You've already mated. So you two are level seven, so you guys can mate. Um, I'm sorry, but you, I kind of got to get rid of you. I hate to do this, but this is this is the way things have to be. Um, you specifically, you're level five. So you're gonna just kind of go over here off to live your life. Okay, friend? I know, I know he still has enchanting levels that he's eaten, but he's fine. He can go exist wherever he chooses. I won't kill him. I want him to live his life in full. So you're level seven. That's good. You're level six. Eh, you're level seven. You gotta go. I'm sorry. You're the first one I got. I'm sorry. I know you're the first one that I got, but you gotta go, man. This guy pooped out a book. Uh, pooped out a book on his way. Um, I should definitely be picking up all these books because they are worth enchantment levels. I believe they're worth five each. So definitely worth my time to pick them up in the future so I don't have to keep using my own levels to enchant stuff. Um, and you two can breed back in like, you're level 6, I don't think you're necessary anymore. Level 7, level 7, yeah so you also gotta go, I'm sorry friend. I need maximum opportunity for quality bookworms here. This is gonna be like a ton of wild bookworms around my house. I mean, technically I could kill these guys, but I've kind of, they're super cute, to be honest, and I've kind of grown attached to them. I really like animals, man, okay? I love animals. I don't want to kill animals. So you are level nine, stonks. Level five. How are you level five? 
Level 7, level 7. How are you level 5? Ah, oh, I, I, I'll let you grow up, just for now. Or I release you to the wild. Alright, we're gonna go. So I've got my ender chest, and we've got shulker boxes. And we're gonna go start killing some mob towers. So I guess, what is this? Oh, I'm not doing any of the dungeons. Dead dragon, why did I mark that? I'm just gonna erase that. Alright, we're going for this mob tower first. Let's do this. All right, we got our first contestant. Yeet. <laughs> oh, I love it so much. All right, ooh. Crack Dragon Scale, nice. Uh, so ravaging ingots for sure, name tags for sure, recalls, XP. I'm gonna be a little choosy about the things I do take, as I take pretty much everything. <laughs> Dude, this bow is so good. Uh, emerald, take all the diamond armor, uh, take those because I'm going to use them in the future and we are good to go. I wonder if it's worth going down to the third level. Um, yeah, yeah, I'd say it is. Is it worth going down to this level? Probably not. Um, not really. Uh, okay, so we're going to delete this boy off of the map. And over here we got a pirate ship. I guess we'll do that since we're here. Alright, so I think what I'm actually gonna do, we're gonna pop that down, take the yeller the yeller <laughs> the yeller shulker box. That's great. Uh, we're gonna make that our expensive stuff. Like stackable stuff box, right? And we're gonna keep it on our rock. Well maybe maybe not. I don't really trust keeping it on my rock. So like just kind of like ingots and stuff like that that is going to stack. We're gonna put stuff like that in there, and then everything else is gonna go into the separate boxes. Oh yeah, these pirate ships, literally the only value they have is that they give me like anvils and coal. I don't know why I'm taking the anvils. I think it's just because I'm, I'm a hoarder, man. I just like stuff. So yeah, we're gonna mark this off the map and move on since I think there's, are there chests? Yeah, there's chests, but I think they're all trash. Um, a lot of bows. Oh, okay. I mean, I'll, I guess I'll take that. Yeah, it's, it's just a bunch of trash. All right, we're gonna take the stuff and we're gonna move on. This reminds me of like, you know, like open world games like Far Cry or like Ubisoft games where you just kind of like run through the world and just do all the stuff, like check off the individual things. And you just can sit there and play and it's fun. You can sit there for like hours and just do that. Like it literally, Arlcraft has literally turned Minecraft into like an open world RPG game and I really love that. Oh, I don't know if I want to do this one. This is an upside down tower. You know, I guess do a quick like run through. Yeah, we can do a quick a quick run through down here. Just, you know, bolt down the stairs, break the spawners, kill the guys. Yeah, so I do have to find a, a Bezor. Uh, someone mentioned it quite a few episodes ago that I've been ignoring Bezors, which are things that like spawn on the ground from a- uh, they drop from spiders. And they give you immunity to poison. And you can combine them and make something that's immune to both poison and wither. Which is pretty cool. I'm probably gonna make one. I'm not sure how useful it's gonna be depending on if I find something else that'll take up its slot. But, dude, look at how fast we just burn through these towers now. Oh my god. I'm on a rampage. <laughs> Alright, I, I gotta go down and kill the boy. What's up, man? How many shots can I hit you with? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, that's... Ooh. 10 diamond, that's not, that's not as... What is that? Phantom prison, prism. Toggles invisibility of some ar armor and baubles? I mean, it no longer works because apparently it was broken, but... Dang. 42 gold, let's go! All right, moving on to the next one. Um, so I got the idea to just break through this wood right here because I was curious what it was. I thought it was a boat underwater. It turns out... It's one of these dungeons. Uh. Yay? Question mark? 
I'm not really trying to do these dungeons right now. But like, they do have loot that I want. This spawns those stupid trees. Sorry, stupid trees. Alright, so I made quick work of that place. Um, honestly, the only reason I did it was for the XP. Those places aren't really worth... Whoa, whoa, lag. Those, those places aren't really worth much for the loot. This is kind of what I got. Just casual crap. Some of it was already from the tower, but like... Throughout that entire thing, I got 11 gold. And I just got some stuff that... The only reason I picked up is because I'm a hoarder. Uh, most of it wasn't worth anything, but it really was all about the XP. That's kind of why... <laughs> That's kind of why I went there. So we're going to mark this off the map and- Oh, hi. Oh look, he's got an ender crown. Oh no, he's got coral. Never mind. He thought he was special. He wasn't special. Alright. Oh, that's gone. That's gone. And this was the dungeon I marked as well. So it's also gone. My doggos, that's gone. Did that. <laughs> um, Nether portal? Oh yeah, I'm not going through that yet. Ogre lair. And let's go kill the ogre, I guess. Yeah. Oh wow, you guys are still outside. Look at you. Wait, what? The hell? What just? I just fell off my ro Oh, that's why, okay. Yeah, could you not? I, I, these guys kind of actually might hurt me. If you could not, that'd be much appreciated. Stupid sirens. It's always stupid sirens, man. You know, they don't get to, they don't get to troll me like that. You don't get to troll me like that. You die. I wanted to kill you, because I don't know what you drop. Oh wow, he has an effect when I shoot them. What did he drop? Hellfire charge? And I will take your shiny scales for future- Oh, hi! You- Oh. You know, actually- No, we're gonna do this on foot. I want, I want the extra looting, the luck magnification of, uh, slaughtering you by foot. Or, on foot. Come on. Come at me, dog. Where'd you go? What's wrong? Oh no! Something happened to that nice mermaid lady. She unalived. Yeah, there's still a lot of these guys around here. I'm not digging it. Rapid fire is so good. How much... How much damage can I do this guy with the bow? 56? 62? Okay! So I, nice, dude! He, he gets four shot! That's, that's insane. And he still drops absolutely nothing. And the loot inside of this room is still... Why can't I hit you? Why can't I hit him? That was just embarrassing. Yay, he drops wool. I mean, I'll take the wool. And he drops lots of shears. Dude, these... I heard these guys used to be worth looting. I think they might have changed it. But they're trash now. Like, look at this. This is a disgrace. Yeah, that wasn't even worth doing. We're gonna mark that off the map. Wait, 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 wait. Did I? Oh, this is new. I didn't, I didn't mark this one. Let's go, dude. Real quick, we're gonna get rid of the Vex in there. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna loot all the way down. I mean, because I just don't wanna deal with it. Not yet any, oh, there's a lot of stuff in here. Why is there stuff in here? It's okay, he killed all the Vex, I think. Or he killed most of the Vex. I wonder if those really good equipments that can mine, like, like vein mine. I wonder if they can vein mine. Oh. Ooh, there's some not okay looking guys down there. I wonder if they can do that to Obsidian. If they can like vein mine Obsidian. Can I one shot them? Yes. <laughs> oh, dude, look at them go. Advanced punch just yeets them. Yeet. 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 <laughs> yeet. Dude, I love it. I love it so much. This is great. I love this bow. It's actually better than the last bow I made and lost. Um, okay, so that's all the bad guys down there for now. Actually, no, I think 
being right here, I'm in I'm in range of the spawners. So you know, we're gonna teleport a rock right here. And we're gonna go down. Alright, you guys suck. You guys really suck. We're gonna break spawners. I don't want spawners. Wait, is there two? No. Now you guys can just exist for a moment. I just don't want your spawners here. Uh, I think that's that's everything, yeah. And these two guys are fighting each other anyways? Why can't I hit them? That was weird. Hey, with a skeleton skull, nice. Oh yes, so we got a bunch of diamond pickaxes. Another ring of strength. Good stuff. More diamond gear. Grants immunity to weakness and mining faith. <gasps> Ooh, that's really good for um when we fight underwater. Yeah, one thing I did notice though is when I was attacking. Ooh, what are those? Glowstone crystals? Oh god, could you not? Yeah, when I'm attacking these guys specifically, they have so much armor that my attacks don't one-shot them. Whoa! The hell poison? Wait. Oh, look at you! Dirk? Wait, what, is he still- I need to get- um, yeah, I don't- I don't like this guy. I need to get immunity to- Alright, he's dead. Jeez. I need to get immunity to poison. Poison's super not okay. Also, my armor, my boots are not having a good time with this. So, we're gonna get out of here. I'll probably come back to it and do the bottom part. Alright, so a little more dangerous idea that I did have was to try to loot- oh boy. Oh boy, um... I was gonna say, try to loot them from this perspective by just digging down the side. But uh, I think they thought that through because you- oh no, you can click them. Yeah, so that chest, not really worth the loot. We're gonna go down further. Are you a- oh, hi. Yeah, just in case you guys happen to have sticky, I don't want to lose my weapon this way. Oh, there's a lot of you. Yep, yeah, okay, so seeing what's in there, not quite worth it. Not quite worth it at all. So I'm out of here. <laughs> I just wanted to see it. Um, a couple people were like, oh, you should go inside the tower. It's got good loot. I, I disagree. I disagree. There's not much loot on the bottom. So I'm not even going to put this on the map because we're not going to come back to it. We're going to go over and do... I don't know why I marked that. And then I marked some mob towers up there. So we're going to go up there and probably do those. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, so here's that weird thing that I saw in the last episode. But I just noticed this. These have really high rates of dropping um, mending enchantment books. So let's have this in my hand. Aww. Because this gives me luck too. Which increases chest loot. Wow, this one's... What the hell are you? Get my face. This one's pretty trash. That's super disappointing. I was really hoping that I was going to get some good stuff there, I guess. Now what's attacking me? It's a frog. Stupid frogs. Is, is there more? Oh, you... Yeah, that's right. I'm strong now. You can't kill me anymore. Look how much XP I have. <laughs> now that we were able to go inside of big boy dungeons, we don't have to really rely on our Zaffin farm anymore. Which I'm glad because I, I don't like constantly doing the Zaffin farm. I want to do big boy stuff and go out and kill actual things. Yeah, so I was gonna say, I don't have any clue what this thing is, but then I looked up and there's like a dispenser and it's got a... Oh my god, do I really have to... Hold up, let's go to my rock. It's got a book in it. Oh, the oh so luminous. I really don't understand what, what mod this is. Olaf, locks, whatever, faces, 8,000 skies, now the color is Mirthal. Um, 
No eye is vigorous, no time. Yeah, I don't- I think it's supposed to be like a, um, it's supposed to add some kind of depth into the world, kind of like how lots of, like, Elder Scrolls or, like, Skyrim books have, uh, stories to them, but yeah, I don't- kind of don't care. So there was another dragon over here. I think I even marked the gray dragon. Yeah, I killed him. Killed him out of spite, so let's, let's get rid of him. Uh, we've got a defiled lands and a mob tower. Let's go to the mob tower. Um, I was wrong, guys. I guess the, there is another dragon here. One shot. Two shot. Three shot. I think that hit. Come on. Four shot. This should kill him, right? I missed. Oh, there's two dragons. Where'd you all come from? How is he not dead yet? How are you not dead yet? Alright, he's dead. That's one dragon. One shot. Two shot. Three shot. I missed that one. Missed that one. Four shot. Come on, five shot. Six. Seven. So I kill those dragons in seven shots. I mean, each dragon has a different amount of health. But, can you- can you get off of me? I hate you guys. Whoa! Stop! Oh, you suck. Get, get away from me, you guys suck. Oh, the dragon landed in the poison. Aw, oh, man, look at that. Um... How do I even... Jeez, uh... Oh, I still got the skills. I think I pretty much got everything. Yeah, th I lost the dragon skull, that's fine. Let's- let's go find the other dragon that I killed. He dropped down, like, over here somewhere. Let's see if he has any loot worth anything. Dude, I- the Defiled Lands triggers me so... You can't, like, walk anywhere without the constant barrage of poison. Oh, nice, I found the dragon. Look at this once proud predator. No longer in his glory. Did anything drop? I do need to get more dragon blood. I really should bring some vials for when I kill the next dragon. I got 41 more gray scales. So that's pretty dope. Um, I need to repair the chest. The boots are getting kind of scary how low they are. I do have purple serpent scales to, you know, fix them, but I was kind of hoping to get mending. However, the next time I get mending is gonna be... It's gonna be a minute. I had to kill so much stuff just for it to let me go to sleep. Also, interesting thing here, if you shoot a bow in midair, like down at something, it, it launches you up even further. Alright, I'm gonna empty my inventory and we're gonna run through this dungeon real quick. Yeah, so this is mega annoying. These stupid poison boys won't go away. They keep spawning from the stupid purple pool of whatever. And I really hope they don't damage my- okay, they, they really hurt my armor. When I looked up, though, I saw this. What is this? Do you have a chest? Ooh. Ow. I mean, I'll take them since flowers are pretty beneficial for random stuff, but like, wow. Imagine flying all the way up here like an idiot just to get a couple of flowers. Kind of- kind of a joke. But it's cool, it's cool though, I, I could take a joke, right? 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 Alright, we're gonna run down here. We're gonna kill all this stuff real fast, like. This is gonna be a speed run. I've been standing on top of it the whole time, so stuff has definitely spawned. You know, there's something significantly more annoying about doing these dungeons inside of Defiled Lands. There's all these, like, what is this? What are you? I got an achievement for killing one of those things. And they give me mining fatigue and slowness. I can't even break the floor because I'm mining. Okay, cool. Sorry, dude, we're not doing this. And deleted. Oh man, I love seeing these chests just full of such good loot. 
really good feels good moment, especially when you have your luck to sort out. Look at that. We got a god apple. And something is hurting me. Stupid spooter. Wow, these flowers are taking up so much space in my inventory. <laughs> Alright, well it's official. All of my um, shulker boxes are now full. And a lot of this stuff doesn't even fit anymore. Into some of the shulker boxes. Like the slots for them. Like my all the gold and diamonds and stuff. I have too many stacks. So I think... We're probably going to have to go back to the house now. Because we're, we're pretty full on just everything. I've got tons of levels too. Which is great. Um, I want to work on making my character more beefy. So even in, you know, the dumbest of situations, if something gets the best of me, I, I can, you know, survive and not get instantly killed. Or at least just not, not die at, at the worst, you know. Oh, hi guys. Nerds. Alright, so I know I said that my inventory was full, but I just can't resist, so... Yeet! I love that so much. Ooh, a full XP tome! Stonks! Or diamond, lapis. Um, at this point, I kind of shouldn't even take the lapis anymore, honestly. Because it's just one block and it does take up a lot of space. They typically drop in very small amounts. And I'd rather just, um, you know... Ooh, what is this? Plowing three. Um, I want the diamonds, but I don't. I don't want them. I don't want to take any more damage to my armor. So we're gonna head home. I'm gonna go to the top of the tower. And we're gonna fast travel back home because I've just got too much stuff on me. This was a good run, though. I'm so glad this didn't put me in the end. I would have been so upset, spaghetti. Why are you in my house? An age has spawned in here. There's no way it got. Um, okay, it might have gotten in. So apparently I left my doors open. I also made a second door just so I could get in and out easier. Because I'm not about that life. Yeah, we're going to see how much loot we got. So there's like so much diamond stuff that I brought back to smelt. It is insane. So I think in the future when I do move, I want to build like... Oh, there's a lag. I want to build like a um an auto smelter area for just armor and stuff. Not just like a regular auto smelter. Like, one where I could just throw in all the armor and equipment that I get, and it'll just smelt them all into a chest. Only thing is, I'm not sure if in this version of Minecraft, if that keeps the XP. Then again, the amount of XP I'm getting for smelting all this stuff is minuscule at best, so... I don't think that matters. But either way, I got a lot. Like, look at all this stuff. Look at all the diamonds we're getting. So, um, we came back with a... Iron, a diamond block. Actually, wait, let me get it all together and then I'll show you what we got. Alright, so we smelted all of our stuff and there's still a bunch of stuff in here. But we ended up with one, two, three, four, almost nine. We got about nine full XP tomes and an additional, like, after filling that, like, 14 levels. Pretty damn good. Uh, we got a bunch of random stuff in here, random stuff in there, here, here, that I'm gonna clean up all this crap. Um, then the grand total in our inventory, we got 23 blocks of diamonds with 4 extra, uh, 16 emerald, 1 extra, 30 gold, 6 extra gold, um, 28 blocks of iron with 4, 23 lapis, 1 silver block with 4, 64 bottles of enchanting exactly, uh, 41 dragon scales, a wither skull, 30, sorry, 20 blocks of coal, 11 golden apples, and 1 notch apple. Then we also got this, which I want to see if I can re-roll it and make it even... Plus 8% attack damage? Ooh, that's really good, but I want something more... Plus 4% speed's pretty good. I just used all the levels I had on me. Um, I don't think I have any spots to put it now. So I do have this in case I do die, but I don't... Grant some immunity to weakness and mining fatigue. I think I should just keep that in my, in my care package. And then if I ever decide to go against, you know, like a underwater dungeon or something i can always do that that way i don't have to worry about their stupid mining fatigue because that's unreal uh but yeah we've got some crazy totals on like on supplies i really need to we need to focus on moving 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna look for a new house because there's just so much stuff. Also, I did mark another one of those things on the map that gives me this many lapis blocks. So we're gonna have enough lapis for like decades. And we're gonna repair our dragon armor, I suppose. Does not have unbreaking yet. So we're gonna repair that. And then our boots really need to be repaired. I I guess while I'm waiting for mending, instead of being stingy with these, I need to- Oh! That is expensive! What? Bruh! See, this is why I need mending. These are expensive! Uh, <laughs> I don't- I just- Oh, no, I don't like the feeling of using all those. I don't like that feeling. We are almost out of serpent skills. If that's the case, we're gonna have to go back to dragon armor. I really do not like the feel of that. Also, how many- do I have any more wither skulls? No? Because I need to go to the end to get more, um... Also, I can try to get some, like, mending enchantments there. That'd be pretty dope. And we got another Notch Apple. And this is going pretty well. We got our enchantment bottles back that we had sacrificed previously. And yeah, I'm going to go ahead and clean up all of these off camera because there's just way too many. But yep, that has been it for this episode, guys. We did a little bit of cleaning on the map. We got like this portion over here a lot more clean. But yeah, we really got to focus on cleaning, <laughs> on cleaning up here for sure. But now yeah, that has been it for this episode, guys. If you do like the series, don't forget to leave a like. It really helps me out. And once again, I do want to hit 150 on this episode. Also, if you are new, don't forget to subscribe. I have a lot of quality content coming your way. But yeah, this has been Pain Domination, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.